Hi everyone, Paul SM. Welcome to an inbox review. Today we're looking at the Kitbox slash PZY resin model kits. So yes, I was kindly approached uh, just before Christmas on my uh, private well, modeling page on Facebook, uh, asking would I be interested in building some of these kits. So uh, the guys over at Kitbox slash PZY uh, offered to send me out the BMW, Yaris and Mercedes 190. So I had a quick look in the box. They look good. I'm not going to lie. The BMW especially so. Uh, very um, reminds me a lot of Alpha models, which isn't a bad thing at all. And you can see the difference in the age of the kits. The BMW is the newest one to literally just come out. I think the Yaris is the next oldest, and the Mercedes is the oldest. You can see where they've progressed over time and got better and better. So my thought on that today is we'll review the BMW, go through the other two boxes quickly at the end, and then when I come to build those, I'll do a proper review on those. Rather than clogging the channel through dozens of reviews, I thought I'd keep them all as one. So we're going to have a proper in-depth look at the BMW, and we'll come back at the end and have a chat about what we think. Right then, so we've got the three boxings from Kitbox PZY model. We've got the BMW M3, the Toyota GR Yaris, and the Mercedes 190E Evo 2 DTM. I'm going to go through the BMW in detail i'm a quick have a look at these two i believe this is the newest offering so it just come out the yaris was the next oldest and the mercedes is the oldest this one caught my eye the most i like older uh, mercedes and beamers and what have you so this one caught my eye and you can see the difference in the kits as they've evolved from the beginning through to what they are now so like i say we'll start the beamer and we'll have a quick look at the yaris and the mercedes as we go, although we're literally going to be here all day and I don't want to be. So, kit box on the front, we've got two versions we can do here. It's a BMW M3 F80 combo version. We can do the standard car or I think it's the 30th anniversary version, which is this one here. We've got box art on the side and the other side of each one. So, the blue one and the purple with the different wheels. Much prefer those wheels, they are beautiful. Good, sturdy box. Now, these are very similar to alpha models and i'm assured well i've asked and they're not connected at all so we've got some instructions in here so i'm going to pop those to one side lots and lots of bubble wrap lots of protection on the kit top marks for this i've taken these bits out so they have kind of been taken out a lot of the protection there's loads of it there's tons of bubble wrap that was in this kit this was very well packaged so we've got several bags of bits. I'm going to move everything out of the way. Uh, we've got our bag with our windows, PE, decals, etc. in. And we've got the actual resin kit itself. So we'll put all these parts there for now out of the way. And I'm going to go through the resin body. Now, so body shell uh, comes well packaged in some bubble wrap. We have the chassis incorporated. No detail underneath on the chassis, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. That pops off. We've got the interior, rear seats, and partial shelf as a separate piece. We'll look at those in a second. Excuse my hands. I've been painting today. I'm absolutely covered in paint. Body shell looks good. I'm not an expert on these later BMWs, but it looks good to me. It is very, very, very finely cast. Absolutely beautiful. Again, it's very reminiscent of Alpha Model flawless resin we've got a few wisps of um uh, excess resin in there which will literally if we get a, a cotton bud quick wipe over they're gone so that's no problem at all but the shape looks good the resin's clean uh just run it over a bit of a sander i'd say it's probably not as clean as alpha if i'm completely honest but it's certainly very 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 good um uh, to say the least. Um, panel lines are good, they're not too um, deep, but they're well pronounced. A little bit of rescribing, probably enhance those a little bit more. And all the detail looks good, all the lights, grills, intakes, got the radiator molded in there as well, as you can see. So it looks really, really good, very nicely detailed. Really good. So top marks on the resin, really nice. The dimensions look correct, like I say. I'm no expert on these. Show me an E36 or an E30, and I'll tell you. I'm a little bit out of the loop on these newer BMWs. Like I say, in the back was the rear seats and the partial shelf. Nothing really to write home about here. 
It's just a big lump of resin with the seat in. Seat belt buckle holes there as well. And the partial shelf. But again, nicely cleanly molded cast resin. Uh, floor pan, no real detail inside and nothing underneath. But very nearly perfectly straight. A little bit of a curve, which there might well meant to be to make it fit on the car. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look. So that doesn't want to fit now. It fitted before. Yeah, so there's a little bit, just a little bit of a curve at the end there it needs. But once you screw that down, that'll be fine. So overall, the body shell looks really, really good. Nice and clean. We've got some detail inside as well. The headlining with lights, uh, sun visors and what have you, grab handles, chicken rails, whatever you want to call them. They look really good. So yeah, good resin. Just gonna pop that back in its bag. And then we'll just start grabbing some of the bags and going through the resin quickly. Like I said, I don't want this to be a really long review if it can help it. Because I'm conscious of going through the other kits. Now I looked at the seats earlier. The seats looked a little bit narrow to me. I don't know if they do to you. They're nicely cast. They're in one piece. Alpha model normally does two piece. Uh, but they're in one piece. Very nicely cast. They just look a little bit narrow. At the bottom i'm not sure if the real ones are supposed to be like that or not but obviously we've got two of those both very nicely done center console which again nice bit of detail large riser block to bring it up into the chassis though dashboard again nice bit of detail on there all the heat events are very crisply cast and so on. Very, very nice. Door cards. Obviously, we've got two of these. Nice bit of detail on those. Once you get these painted up, detailed, and accentuated, they're going to look really, really good. Then we've got the exhaust for the back. Very nicely made. Look how thin those exhausts are. They are very, very cool. And I'm assuming... I don't know what that part is. It almost looks like an accelerator pedal, but it's hard to tell. We'll have a look at instructions in a bit and figure it out. So, a lot of those seats that look a little bit undersized, and the steering wheel did to me as well. Um, we'll have a look at that in a minute. It just looked a little bit small to me. Very nicely cast. Like I say, very well packaged. Everything is in bubble wrap to protect it. Uh, I still need to go through and check all these parts off, which I always do with these resin kits. So, we need to pop that in there like that let's get that in there and pop you in there as well out of the way you say lots and lots of bags there is tons of them so you're certainly not going to um hopefully get damaged parts two sets of wheels one for the standard car which is these ones and one set for the 30th anniversary one which is these. Now, I know which ones I instantly prefer. It's these ones. They're a much nicer wheel. They're very cleanly cast. If I come in close, hopefully you can see. Very cleanly done. Very, very nice. Now, the one thing that scores points here with me is the fact the tyres are marked. And I've been on ALF models to do this for ages. They need to put, start putting manufacturer marks on their tyres, and they don't. Now, I can't quite make out what these say. Let me have a look. It's Michelin. And it's got the tyre size on there. So, tyre branding, it does add a bit of interest to it, I think. Um, they're a very nice kit, and I think they deserve these. And it's one thing the Alpha models are missing. So, top marks to kit box for adding these. Very, very cool. So that's a nice one to add as well. Uh, both sets of wheels are good. Good that you get both, so you can pick and choose which one you do. For me, it'll be the anniversary one all day long because I prefer the look of it and just love these wheels. I think the wheels are very, very pretty. But yeah, two sets of wheels is always a bonus. There we go. Right, last load of parts. So you get a nice little badge. This is quite a nice little addition. There's a little uh, BMW badge, two-in-one combo style. So, yeah, it's a freebie. So, it is what it is. We've got some belt material in there for our seat belts. Nice to see. Gives you actual material and a photo etch. And the screws there, which look a much better size for attaching the chassis to the body. 
Uh, in here, we've got various parts for the brakes, etc. Now, we'll get to that in a minute because it's quite an important uh, sprue that we'll look at that in a second. We've got centre console armrest, handbrake levers, looks like two different ones in there, gear shifter as well, very finely cast. We've got a steering wheel, which I just thought looked a little bit small, personally. But looking at built up pictures, I guess it doesn't. The wing mirrors are there, steering columns there, very delicate resin on the edge of those. Very, very finely cast there as well. We've got some aero, I think they're like, are they canards? It must be for the front grille, are they? So there, they're ready to go on. Door handles and some sort of LCD screen there as well. All good to go. And then here we've got another shifter. Loads of other little bits of shark fin aerial antenna for the roof, seatbelt buckles, and a few other things as well. But this is the one that gets me. So this has got a plus and a negative. So the negative kind of is that the calipers are attached to the discs. So it's going to make painting them a little bit more difficult. There is photo etch for the discs themselves. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, you've only got to paint your caliper uh, the color you want and then do the edges of the disc itself in the colour to match your PE. Um, so not the end of the world. I would like the choice to have them separate, but um, in a way it's kind of easier because they're already on the alpha models. Kind of calipers can be a bit of a pain. So the kit box idea is better. What does win it for me is on the, on the back. Each one of these hubs is marked where it should go. If you built the other resin kits, if you cut these off, you can get them mixed up and you can't figure out what one goes where. Uh, you sit there looking at the disc and figuring out which way the calipers go and which way things sit. With this, there's no way of mucking it up because you've got right, left, right, right, front, front, and obviously you can't mess up these because of the way they are. So that is a big plus. That's a well done to Kitbox for that, most definitely. Top marks for that one. So again, beautiful resin. A nice touch in there. So it looks like we've got a couple of options for gear shifters, a couple of options for wheels. Um, and a few other bits as well. This is another impressive bag as well. Obviously, I've looked at this kit very quickly this afternoon. In here, we have <laughs> clear resin parts, which are actually clear. Very, very good. Other kits like this I've done before. Um, the clear resin's not been perfectly clear. So that's a top mark. That's the front and the rears. Very, very good. What does it for me is this. These are black chrome headlights, pre-chromed in the box. They look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's a really nice touch. And chrome grills, which again, a really nice touch. Hopefully those points underneath, they are very, very fine. So hopefully they won't interfere or show. But to get pre-chrome parts like that is a really nice touch. Rear light lenses, the same as well. Very, very nice chrome. And these bars as well, which I'm assuming they're inlays for the interior. I'm not sure. But nice. Another nice touch. Something else to add to the, um, the kit, which definitely helps the modeler. These clear resin parts are a big bonus. Faux show. In the bag of bits, we have some very, very nicely printed decals. I had a quick look at these earlier. They look great. Got all the seat inlays, the M badges, carbon fiber for the dashboard, the instruments, uh, the display panel for the SD screen, all decals all the way through for like window switches and that. Brilliant. Different number plates go on the exterior of the car, different badges for the exterior of the car, and just very well printed decals. They look top quality, nice and thin, so they're going to make life a lot easier for you. I'm going to get this one. There's another one. So we've got a multitude of BMW metallic badges there. These are the metallic decals with the mirror inserts and everything else there. They look really good as well. Very, very nice addition to get. Uh, we've got our clear parts, which seem a little bit thinner than other kits I've done before. A little bit thinner. I hope it'll make them a little bit easier to work with. The heated screen's built in onto the back one 
as well, which again is a really, really nice touch. Very good. We've got some photo etch here. I am not going to pretend to know what this photo etch is for. It's a tiny little fret of, I have absolutely no idea. I'm assuming they're wheel inserts, but I can't quite tell. So we've got that one. We've got this one, which has got window wipers, looks like speakers, um, brake uh, hub parts, mirrors, so on and so forth. It's quite thick P though, I will say that. This one, we've got the brake discs, cross-drilled, with the window wipers, grills, number plates, seat belt buckles, and various other parts in there as well. Again, very nice. And a very, very nice display but plaque. You do get these in other kits, like Alpha models. This is uh, a nice one, I do like a kit box, M3 built, and you could scribble your name in crayon there, I suppose, if you wanted to, couldn't you? Again, nice little touch. Got these little red things, which I'm assuming are some sort of reflectors for light. I am not sure. Uh, we'll have a look at the instructions in a minute to see if we can make head or tail of them. But yes, some very nice extras in there. Good decals, good photo etch. Um, they're going to add to the building experience for sure and hopefully make life a little bit easier for everybody. Yep, we can do this. I'm going to pop all these back in. All these little bits are very, very important. Like I say, I'm going to go through and check all these off later and make sure all the correct bits are in the bags. I would recommend doing that to any kit, especially these resin ones. So if you do have an issue, you can get replacements there and then. So lots of good parts there. Um, On to the instructions. Now, Three separate sheets. I'm going to zoom out a touch. There we go. Move that out of the way. We've got three separate sheets. So we've got the parts layout there on the BMW. As you can see, we've got some information at the top about applying decals mainly. On the other side, we've got the uh, PE, windows, decals, all the parts and what all the symbols mean. Paint the instructions as well, which you should know anyway. And then the instructions are photo. Now, I do like these instructions. So, if you look at the top, you've got a legend. You've got orange are marks for resin parts, purple for PE, green for decals and metal, blue for pre cut window sheets, and brown or dark purple for metal and other parts of PE. And as you see, we've got actual photographs of the resin parts, which is a big plus. So, we can see the dashboard being detailed up, the steering wheel the center console, the seat. This is a big bonus to get. This will aid with the build of the kit 100%. I had a feeling that was the accelerator pedal set that was. Well, it's a footrest and you've got those there as well. This is going to aid you no end because it's not as vague as the other ones, which you're going to see in the Mercedes and not in the Yaris, as you'll see in a minute. On the back, we've got start of the assembly for putting the interior together and it just continues through. They're really nice instructions. They're pretty clear. It even goes so far as to show you, you can put the seats on, center console. This needs to go in first. That needs to go in. Then you can screw it in. So it's a much more uh, helpful assembly guide. So there's that one. And then on the last page, we've got your brakes, all the different colors of all the PE, decals and what have you required, popping our lights in, our grills in. And the finishing touches there, door handles, mirrors, etc. And on the back, a bit of uh, influence there, or a bit of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I forget now. We've got the blue standard one uh, with its stand interior, and the purple one with this much nicer purple interior, which is probably the one I'll go for because I do love those wheels, they are fantastic. So, there we go, that's the BMW M3. It's a beautiful kit. I think it's certainly up on par with the likes of Alpha model. Um, what they're going to assemble like is the Teller, because that is the proof, uh, as we do find out with that Sierra that we're building currently from D models. Um, that is what is going to tell us how it goes together then, and we can see. So I'm going to build this one probably next after the uh, Civic is done. I'm just going to pop that to one side. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully it won't be too far in the distant future. I'm going to very quickly go through the Aris. Now this is the disappointing thing with the Aris. There's no instructions. But there's not as many parts. So you've got your parts layout there. 
nothing on the back. And that, which shows you where all the decals go and some very confusing chart. And that's assembly instructions. That is all you get. So that's a little bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Similar kind of part in the bags. We've got all the wheels. I've not really looked through this one. So we've got the wheels. Uh, what's that? Looks like a partial shelf, is it? It's hard to say. Exhaust, again. Uh, when I build these, I'll go through them properly and do proper reviews separately. All the steering wheel, interior parts are there. Uh, clear parts for the headlights. Again, not as clear. See, they were the hazy. Not as clear. So they've definitely improved as they've gone with their kits, 100%, which is good to see a company progress. Wheel hubs, uh, which again are... Are they marked? I can't tell if they are marked. Yeah, they are marked front and rear, so that's good. Uh, and then we've got the interior. So seats are there, dashboard, etc., etc. Like I say, I'll go through these kits more in future. I got excited about the sale. I thought it was a gift. It's actually a vac form window. All the decals are in there, photo etch, the screens, etc., etc. So not as quite a nice as kit as the BMW, I don't think. But still, if you're into Yaris, especially the GR, which is a mental little machine, it's a pretty cool kit. Um, which way around does that go? Let's go that way. There we go. So the chassis is not as good a fit on this one. It's a bit thinner resin, so it does bend in. But the shape looks good. The body's well molded. I think we've got the remnants of somebody's lunch on the bonnet there. I'm not sure what the hell that is. I don't even want to touch it. Um, but the shape looks good. The resin looks good. So, yeah, I think it'll still build up very, very nice in the future. Uh, just not my normal kind of subject, the Yaris. Definitely not. I appreciate it for what it is. I know it's meant to be an absolutely mental little hot hatch, but... For me as a builder, it's not the most inspirational of kits. So we'll pop that to one side. I'm going to go through all these in a minute and check off all the parts. Make sure everything's there. This was the one that drew my eye the most, the Mercedes. I love these older cars. I believe this is the oldest kit. I may be wrong, so we've got all our decals and that there. We've got the instructions, which are very typical of what older Alpha model kits look like. So you're hand-drawn. Pretty comprehensive, better than the Yaris, not having any. But still, you've got to pay attention to everything goes. You've got the same colour call-outs for the part, which is nice. Uh, the nice decal scheme for the back as well. But you can definitely see how the kit uh, company has evolved. We've got metal axles on this one. Those beautiful wheels. An amendment for the screen. The rear wing. These very strange sweeters. Don't know, it tastes weird. Brakes are there as well. Door handles. Uh, we've got chrome. For the grills, which is very nice, and the lights, all pretty grown. Like I say, when I build these, I'll go through these and do definite separate reviews. Headlights, tail lights are there as well. Seat, part of the roll cage, steering wheel. Seat looks very small, I think, but I think it is small in these DTM cars anyway. Uh, looks like exhaust system, part of the roll cage. Uh, and then the body shell itself, which I had a very quick look at earlier. Which again... Looks spot on to me. Looks very good. Obviously, missing the front lights and the grills and the windows and what have you, so it might look a little bit odd. But very nicely cast. Very nicely done. Nice thin panel lines. The shape looks spot on. It's got the roll cage inside with it as well. It's already in there. Um, and I think this is going to build up very nice. I think there's other schemes out there for this as well. I've seen a Sonax one built out of this kit, so I think this will make a very interesting kit as well. But when I come to build this... I'll do a full review and we'll go through it all separately. It's just I had all three to do. I didn't want to do all three separately right now. So I opted to do the BMW and thought we'd go for a quick look through these. This one does have some detail underneath, which is nice. Uh, and overall, this is just a beautiful car. I do love these old Mercedes of the uh, this era. Very, very cool. And a DTM legend for sure. So there we go. There's a look in the box of all three of these kits. Well, yes. What do I think? You can see the difference in the older kits, definitely. The Mercedes still looks very, very good. I'm looking forward to building that one. As I say, big fan of that era Mercedes. The Yaris, it's not my normal subject, but it'd be an interesting kit. And I think they're bringing out a wide arch version as well. They put pictures on their Facebook page, which I'll instantly put in the description down below. If you want to buy any of these, you can go over there and have a look, chat with the guys and see if you can get one. The BMW, though, it just looks epic. It really does. 
I think the resin, it's not quite as good as alpha. And I, and I mean marginally. It's like, you know, a few percentage off uh, quality-wise. Uh, I can just say a few more flaws. There's no real flaws there, but I can see more than I would on an alpha model. Uh, parts look great. Things like putting tyre markings on the tyres, putting the markers on the hub so you can see where they go. The clearer resin, the clear parts, is a big bonus to get. Um, as to other better instructions. So, top marks for this. I am going to, you know, fair play, credit where credit's due. They put some time and effort into this, and that BMW looks very, very good. So, I will probably build that one next after the um, Civic I'm building. And we'll see how it goes together, because as I say, the proof in the pudding is the building of it. And if it goes together, well, well, we're on to a winner, aren't we? It's all good all around. So, like I said, I'll put a link to their uh, Facebook page. I think the only way you can buy at the minute is buy them. I believe the kits are about $140 to buy. I think you're looking at like $40 postage and some like £9 PayPal fees. I'm not sure the exact amount. I'll have to get a proper price off them. Um, but the BMW is very promising. Very, very promising. It's got some good stuff in there. Um, the other companies could learn a little bit about personally, I think. So, yes, thank you very much to the guys over at Kitbox and PZY for sending me these samples. Uh, you know me, even if I get stuff for free, I always give an arch review, and yeah, that looks great, really, really good. Uh, and I'll be interested to build these further down the line. There we go, another review for you. I released this instantly on ISM, it didn't go on pre release on Patreon. I kind of owed it to the guys, and I wanted to give them credit where credit's due straight away. Otherwise, it would have been like two months before it came out of Patreon because of the delay in the videos. Um, so I've released this as an extra video this week, if you're wondering why a video is going up today. There we go. If you'd like to support the channel, keep these videos going. There's a Patreon link down below. You get early access to videos, Patreon-exclusive builds, loads of perks. Go down and have a look. There's links to everything social media down below for myself. I'll put a link to Kitbox down there as well. There's links to my modeling page, my email address, my scale mates, all of that. Make sure you sub to the channel, click the bell notification, give the video a thumbs up, and leave a comment. What do you think of these kits? Do they look good? Have you got them? Have you built one? Have you seen one built? What do you think? Let me know, let me know your thoughts on the kit. All right, so there we are. Enjoy the rest of the day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.